I went to the university and yeah, there has been a push towards becoming like a part of the system. Mm-hmm. Like that's like in the university, like you don't have a personality, but you're like supposed to do what teachers tells you. You should be in the classes that you have to be. If you miss classes, it's bad. If you don't do what we say, it's bad. And it creates this kind of mentality of obedience. It's almost like totalitarian regime. Mm-hmm. Although like the university I went to was luckily so disorganized that <laughs> so chaotic that it did not have uh-huh. this influence on me but it had this influence on other people and then yeah then they, then you struggle then mm-hmm. it's and then maybe if you don't agree with the with the values of the university you drop out of of, of the community in general and you stop yeah. dancing because you you don't want to be in the system and luckily we found because i would also say that the hip-hop community or the house community is also in a way um, very rich with values and systems and structures, but luckily we we love this. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yeah. But also personally, for example, I always wanted to do a dance education, and I was always like, I, I feel less. I feel like I I don't know all these things, and I want to get this on a on a on a paper how to do, let's say, a piece or how to be a dancer, like a professional dancer or whatsoever, and. I always compared myself with people who had an education, but then when it comes to real life situations, sometimes when I yeah, compare myself with people who had this education, then I feel like, okay, but actually I have this real life experience, which is also a, an education because it's, yeah, we have to, we should value our like <laughs> lifetime experience more. Mm. And even like when we started this podcast, we were saying like, yeah, we are all three of us not having an education so so we are not in a way good enough and mm-hmm. it feels so negative and we shouldn't do that <laughs> you, you mean yeah. education in podcasting or no education um in a, like dance education in university yeah I think in a way. and also what we try to do uh, in the last years is when someone asks us do you have a dance education yeah. usually we would automatically say no we don't but and then explain Mm -hmm. ourselves but actually we said it's so important how you communicate Mm -hmm. also about yourself and that's why we try always now to say I didn't do university but yes I have an education I traveled through the whole world I did a lot of workshops with different people with different institutions and I did it by myself I organized it by myself and this is just a different way of education it's not part of the system we live in it's not It doesn't have this reputation, maybe, because our system works with institutionalized education, especially in Europe. But it's just a matter of presenting yourself also. Mm -hmm. And uh, we learned that, especially with Flavorama, with convincing people to support or to collaborate, Mm -hmm. it really makes a difference how you present all this, especially in a culture that suffers a lot of cliches still. Mm -hmm. So that's it makes a difference. How totally. you how you say how you tell about it, and also like how we really feel about it because yeah yeah. <laughs>